all right guys so i'm back i know it's been a while sorry about that but you can probably hear in my voice i'm still not 100 percent because i've been a little bit ill lately so that's why i've not been doing videos but i couldn't wait any longer I just i wanted to get some videos done it's got some really interesting pieces that you're going to want to see and that i just want to show you so this is one of them this is from heden so this is currently live on kickstarter i'll leave all the details down in the description as always so i'm a little late with this one i think it's still got about 20 something days left so there are still early birds available and super early birds as well i think but i had to get it done because if you do want to pick one up you want to get in on those early prices obviously so they sent me the prototype to check out for review so obviously there's going to be a couple of little changes but we'll get into that when we get into the full review but if i do sound a little bit funny like i say i'm still not 100 percent so sorry about that but enough waffling let's jump in and let's check it out so here's the box you'll get it in the Heden branding, and then the slogan, Heden is something more. It's a pretty nice box. It's actually got a little orange accent on the bottom. And then it's got a little suede finish bit, so it won't scratch the table or whatever you've got it on. And then if you pop it open, we'll quickly go over what you get. So you've just got the warranty card that you obviously get, and then because it's a Kickstarter, you'll probably get a few other bits and pieces, depending on how successful it is. And then we've just got the watch. So I'll put all this to one side and then we'll get right down to it. Caution. Warning. So before we talk about that, because I know someone's going to mention this. Yes, this is a smart watch. So yeah, I have joined the dwarf sword. I used to wear a fitness tracker. I used to get a bit of stick for that early on. But I'm just basically using this as just an upgraded fitness tracker. Because it came free with my phone. So I thought, why not? Just tracks better, tracks the sleep and stuff. And as you probably know, I wear my watch on this wrist. Somebody be wearing both. Let's get down to the actual watch. So here it is. This is the one I've been wearing lately. So this is going to be a love it or hate it kind of watch. And quickly, let's address the elephant in the room. Yep, you can't really read this because the hands are the same colour. So this won't be an issue for the final version though, because they've already changed it up. They've already made those hands blue for this one, because they have a few different versions. I'll probably pop pictures on screen so you can see them. So. That is the main issue I had with this when I first checked it out. It's not the most legible, but it's good to know that they've addressed that straight away. As I say, with some of the other versions, they're a little bit more legible. But with this one, they've already addressed that and sorted this issue. So props to them for that. So let's check out the dimensions on this. So we'll start with the thickness. So we've got a thickness of 11.1. .1. So not too bad. When it comes to the diameter, we've got 42, lug width 20, and then the all important lug to lug is 53.1, which, yeah, it is a little on the large side. Would have been great if they'd managed to get it to 50 or below. That could be a deal breaker for some people, but wait and see what it's like on wrist before you make your mind up. So let's get a zoom in and let's talk about it a bit more. And then as you can see, it is really nicely done. So we've actually got some rose gold bits there. As well as it being skeletonized. And then obviously we've got the gold for the actual mechanism itself. Again, all really nicely finished. It is actually hand finished this as well. Which is a nice touch. They actually have some videos of that on their YouTube channel. And also on the Kickstarter page, so I'll probably try and link to that down in the description if you want to see it in more detail and then flip around to the back that's just as good looking as well we've actually got some blued screws there too and again just really nicely done it's just a really good looking skeletonized watch i think when it comes to the rest of the dial we have actually got Applied indices there. Got the chapter ring around the outside with the applied indices. And then that hidden up in the corner there. Again, applied. So it has got a little bit of a dial around the outside, which again, now they've changed the hands, definitely makes it a bit more usable, which is the main issue I tend to have with skeletonized watches. They're not the most legible. But with this one, now they've changed those hands, it's not too bad at all. And you still get that beautiful look of it being skeletonized. So I'll probably pop some pictures up so you can see what it's like outside. 
But as I say, if you're into skeletonized watches, this could be the one for you. Another slight issue though, is that it's fully polished this case, so you can see I've got a little bit of a scuff on that already, which is a little disappointing, but as I say this is a prototype so perhaps they'll change that as well, I've not been told that at the moment but you never know, if enough people are worried about it they might change it. When it comes to the crown, got a nice onion star crown there though, do like that. And then when it comes to that crystal, completely flat. As are the lugs, not a lot of curvature there. Would have been nice if they curved down a bit more. The strap, because this is actually a really nice strap. Really soft, really supple. So apparently it's Italian leather. And then we've got the heat and branding on the buckle. Mixture of brushed and polished. Again, nicely done. And it's actually branded as well, the strap. And as I said, Italian leather. So, pretty nice. I think it does suit the watch as well. And as I say, if you're not keen on this one, they do have different ones, different colours. So let's test now whether we've got sapphire on this. Using the trusty diamond selector too. So, yep, we've got sapphire crystal on the front. Let's quickly check out the back. Um, no, we've just got mineral on the back. Which, is, I guess, is a little bit disappointing. But not all that unexpected. As you can probably tell, looking at the dial, we don't have any loom, so I'm not going to be doing a loom shot on this one. I don't think I've actually seen many skeletonized watches that have loom. And the couple that have, they might as well have not bothered, to be honest. But if you know any... Skeletonized watches that do have good loom, let us know down in the comments. Be interested to know if there are any good ones out there. So, when it comes to the movement, I'll just leave some information on screen so you can see what that's like. Specs for that. And I'll quickly show you in action. So, it's just a push pull crown. Obviously, you can change the time. Don't have a second hand on here, so you don't need to worry about that. Pop it back in. Got hand winding. All works well, no issues at all, but you're probably wondering how much is it. So as I said, the Kickstarter has already started, so there are still super early birds available, and they start at £509, which works out to about $633, which is about 603 euros. So it's not cheap, but I think for what you're getting and the fact that it's hand finished, I think it is pretty nice. I wouldn't be paying much more than that probably, if I'm being honest, but I think for that price it's about right, because it is really nicely done, and obviously those hands have been changed on this particular model, and if you're not keen on this one, they do have different ones as well, but let me know, are you into skeletonized watches? If you are, does this one do it for you? So what's left to do now is show you what it's like on wrist and then we'll wrap this up. And this is what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. So as I say, really comfortable strap, really soft, really supple, do like that. But as you probably expected, with that pretty large lug to lug, it is overhanging my 7 inch wrist just slightly. Ideally, my 7 inch wrist, anything around the 50 mark or below is ideal. So this is just beyond that unfortunately. So, for me personally, it's a little bit too big. If you've got a bigger wrist, obviously that won't be an issue. Obviously, if you've got a smaller one, 
this probably isn't the watch for you. But in terms of value for money, I think for what you're getting, if you can get it at that super early bird price, I think it's about right. I probably wouldn't be paying any more than that though, because as I say, I think the sizing is just a little bit off. Perhaps if they just curve these lugs or just shorten them slightly, one of the two, or ideally both, it could fit a lot more wrist sizes. But let me know down in the comments. Are you interested in backing it? If you are, also let me know what wrist size you are, because I'm interested in them. If people with the same kind of wrist size as me, they would be interested, or if it's just going to be those with larger wrists. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's been a while again. I'll try and get some more videos out pretty quickly. I'll see you in the next one.